What's going on guys? My name is Dave Higgins. Welcome to Sandbox Explorer. All right, so I meant to make this video a few days ago, but I just didn't have the chance and I was also being just kind of lazy if I'm being totally honest because quarantine land, man, it's just, it is what it is. Uh, I'm still working too. Um, so I'm not like just sitting around at home all day. I'm still going out and working. So when I get home, I'm tired. <laughs> um, but anyways, I signed up to play this game Vigor. Uh, it's in beta testing, so let's. This is the first game I'm been, I'm gonna be playing that's not Animal Crossing since it released. <laughs> I, I have like, in fact, let me just real quick, um, see. Uh, let's see, where is it? How many hours have I played? 195 hours or more in Animal Crossing. So in almost 200 hours, this is the first game that I've played since. I signed up for the closed beta. Because it seems really cool, and I really wanted to make a video on it so you guys can check it out. And the developers can even check it out in action from, you know, the user end anyways. Um, I've been told from the developers that have, you know, uh, actually contacted me about, you know, uh, making videos for their games that that's been useful. So, I'm going to assume that at least some of them are going to see this and, uh, you know, make some... It'll be useful for them. See, like, what works well, what might not so much. Things to make. Alright, so. Welcome, Outlander. Sam Books Explorer. Press A to start. Alright, so. Language. Brightness. Uh, safe frame. Honestly, actually, kind of. The, the screen looks small to me right now because I'm looking at this on a small screen. Uh, subtitles are on. Aim invert. I don't think I want that. I need to make this screen. I meant, I meant to have this set up with... Uh, Alright, that's a little bit better. I meant to have this set up on a screen like I did before, but I just put it away. Because <laughs> it's like not a gr good screen that I was using. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is supposed to take place in Norway. If I'm not mistaken, I believe. I had the information. And it's not handy for some reason at the moment. All right. Norway, 1991. The nuclear war is over. There we go. Central Europe, I am one. Um, Central Europe is devastated. Norway has become the last stand. Many people fled there. Civilians, soldiers, me. Now we all try to survive. We are outlanders. Oh, hold down A, okay. <clears throat> rah, rah. Oh, choose your character. All right, so we got this person who I think is a lady, maybe a boy. Uh, all right, this guy kind of looks like uh, uh, not really. Kind of looks like the guy from Tiger King. Well, I guess if I shaved my hair. And had a short beard. All right, I'll go with this guy. Oh, you can change. You can change who you are. I'll go with this guy. Man, I gotta get a haircut. I'm just wearing this hat. I mean, I wear hats, hats a lot, anyways, in here. But I don't need to wear a hat all the time. I just do. But like right now, it's getting pretty bad. I need to get a haircut. All right, so press A to vault. So maybe I'll shave my hair. <laughs> Like this guy. Alright. Press L A to climb. Hold B. Let's see. Let's see, my instinct is to see also also the movement. I'm liking it. It's pretty fluid. You can move whichever direction you want. Um It's not like how the Witcher you kind of like stagger depending on which direction you're going. This is more this kind of reminds me more of like a classic a uh, third person game like from PlayStation and GameCube and stuff like that. Oh, this is so this is honestly I'm already think ooh. 
this is already super cool. Um, I just like the idea of this mountainous area. This sort of reminds me of like um, Dying Light t a tiny bit. Not really, but like the tunnel made me think of it. So that's cool. You got all these 90s vehicles. You got the station wagon. Can we climb up or jump? Same as same as jumping. Can I go inside? Uh, okay. I'm assuming you can't go inside this, but I wanted to just try. No. Um. For some reason, I'm only hearing. For some reason, I'm only hearing footsteps on the right side of my headphones. But I can hear sounds in both. Oh. Okay. I see. I I just kind of I saw this game. It seemed kind of cool based off what I saw real quick, and I signed up for it. I wanted to make a video for it. I, I'm I'm interested in all games, but I don't. I forget what this is exactly supposed to be. I don't know if it's an. It's just a single player game. If it's an MMO, honestly, we'll figure it out. I'll I'll actually or let's look at this map. Let me just grab <laughs> my email, just so I can look at it and I can tell you. Um, I'm really excited for this, honestly. Uh, Vigor. This takes place till the 16th, um, so I'm going to be playing a bit till then. It's going to be on Xbox and Switch. Um, so far... It's, it might be on PC and P PS4, but um, so far it's going to be just on Xbox and Switch, which is interesting, actually. Build your shelter and equipment, loot precious resources. So, I, I honestly, I forget if this is supposed to be, like, an online game at all, or if this is supposed to be... Focus. So, focus puts you where you where you are, place a marker. So this is the campsite, I'm gonna guess? Undiscovered. Let's place a marker there. You can see it on the little uh, compass up top there. Let's just take a look out over this field. Can we walk down, can we jump down? I don't think I want to, because I think we're gonna die. Now, I am gonna say that I'm a little nervous that this isn't gonna look great in handheld mode. It honestly looks really good Search in docked mode, there should be a weapon. and it could look this good in, or about this good in, in in handheld. Oh, this is the campsite on the map. Oh, oh, we're, oh, we're over here. Look at this. Look at this ocean, or sea, or bay. More like a bay. Let's loot this. Okay. Word. Okay. M2 carbine part. Uh, okay, so let's take all that. What am I, oh, I'm shooting at the guns. I mean, the, the guns. I'm shooting at the bottles. Let me get closer. There we go. Uh, I don't know if you uh, you get more accuracy uh, later, or if it's just the gun, or if it's just how it is. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna run out of ammo. Now what? Should I shoot this one too? Oops. <laughs> there we go. I 
think oh, I still got five. I think this is just like a survival game. I think. According cause... to my map, next to the lake is a hut. Go check it for loot. Go check it for loot. What's this? Got some some herbs, some herbs or something, some plants. Let's grab some more. All right, now let's head to. Ooh, what was that? Just some flowers. Now, can I? Let's see options. Controls. What's the game controls? Interaction, crosshair, color. So you can you can customize a lot of stuff. Um, show health, show compass, all this and that. License controls. So first person. Wow, vibration, aim invert, aim button, hold, sprint button, toggle. Oh, that's cool. Look Y sensitivity, look X sensitivity, third person aim sensitivity, third person X sensitivity, first person aiming sensitivity from sight. So let's see, I want to raise the Y just a little bit. Yeah, there we go. A little, that's a little better. Sometimes supplies are sent by air. A plane might be heading your way soon. Maybe a, maybe a little bit less. A plane's heading our way. All right, let me just lower that back down to 65. Yeah, there we go. All right. All right, I'm honestly, even though I went through that, I'm going to change it back to where it was at 60. Seems appropriate. I don't know. I'll, I'm gonna, I always adjust the settings at first. Alright, so we're at the angler's hut that I... Let's loot what's in here. Disinfectant. Very important. By the way, are you okay? You should watch your health. So you hold down L, and then you press... You hold down ZR. Heal up. Let's see, is there ammo in here? Nope. Some sort of crafting material. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know what this will look like in uh, handheld mode, but it looks really good. Like, the lighting's really good. The um, Look at the water effects are really nice. I can't tell... It doesn't seem to have much of a blur to it. Like, The Witcher has a little bit of that. Well, it had a lot now. It's only got, like, a decent amount left. It seems like this has got pretty pretty sh good sharpness on it. The airdrop is heading your way. Check the map for the drop zone. Go and grab it. It's kind of like... It's, it's somewhat reminding me of, like, Far Cry. Oh, is that the plane? Oh, there it is. Let's make sure we get to the drop zone drop zone for the for the air drop. I think you can see the stamina on the bottom Air right. Drops contain the most valuable loot. Other outlanders will also want their precious contents. So watch your back and always be prepared for a fight. Okay. Contains crates, open shell open in shelter and crates screen to get the content. Alright, so Where? 
Moses. There is shelter down by the ford. Cross the bridge and you will be almost there. All right, I know I'm supposed to do that, but I kind of want to check what's up here. Yep. All right. Oh, cool, that was ammo. I need to get down. Don't fall down. All right. <laughs> like, I'm supposed to be running away. But I'm like, nah, I gotta check real quick. All right, now I'm gonna run. I like that you can toggle Hurry run. Yourself. You can set it to Radiation not have to do it. Hurry. Radiation's coming. To know your weapons before you take them on encounters. My garden. Daily now login. Now safe, we have time for introductions. My name is Ada. What's up, Ada? Welcome to welcome back. We've updated the shop with new offers while you were away, and it had some stuff that I didn't see. Shop. <clears throat> Guide. Outlands. You can go. Into encounters alone with a friend or random outlander, in all cases, to be properly equipped. Okay. Uh, there are multiple locations where you can explore. Quick play will select a random location, but waiting time for encounters should be lower. Fulfilling challenges will give you useful rewards. Story challenges can't be cancelled. Daily challenges can be cancelled in an empty slot will be filled with a new one every day. Okay. Equip screen allows you to craft and equip weapons, ammo, and consumables for encounter. You can also deconstruct what did I just do? Items into materials. You can carry up to two primary and two secondary weapons. Ammo and consumables are stored in your backpack. Crafting takes time depending on rarity. Only one weapon and one consumable can be crafted simultaneously. Crafting ammo is instant. I'm having a lot of difficulty reading this. I don't know if it's because I have a smaller screen, but I am having difficulty reading this. Um, maybe the text could be a little bit bigger. Maybe it's just the fact that I'm looking at this on a smaller screen on my computer. Um, I don't know what it'll look like in handheld mode. Um, info tab. Oh, what, all weapons are stored in stash. Weapons uh, which you can craft are marked with a yellow wrench icon. Info tab shows item description, weapon param parameters, and crafting requirements. Weapons can be crafted from relevant parts or with materials, the correct plan, and an upgraded crafting table. Interact with the world map and the access to access the encounters. Uh, ammo, consumables, deconstruct, build. You can build stuff. Uh, building build screen allows you to build improvements, repair, and customize your shelter. Crates, battle pass. Was that like a uh, battle pass, like with um, Dauntless and stuff, and like Fortnite? I didn't know that was a thing in this, okay. I don't know what's like that. Uh, cosmetics, gestures, weapon skins. Oh, okay. So it's like that. So is there like a, a home base area and you like go to do missions and stuff seemingly maybe possibly <laughs> I'm just pressing buttons what am I doing uh, anything good in here no <laughs> excuse me is this my house that I gotta fix up Get my my nice uh let me climb up here. This is my nice I would love to live in a place that looks like that, honestly. It's very nice. Look at those mountains. This is very nice looking. Um Norway. Do I get to listen to black metal? Alright, so let's go to the map. Solo. Outlands one three. Whatever. You can go oh, it's just 
You can go into encounters alone with a friend or a random outlander in the cases in all cases in all the cases <laughs> be properly equipped. There are multiple locations which you could explore. Quick play this is all the stuff I was just reading. Quick play will select random location, but waiting time for encounters should be lower. Fulfilling challenges will give you useful rewards. Story challenge can't be cancelled. Daily challenges can be cancelled. An empty slot will be filled with with new one every day. A little bit of uh, a little bit of grammatical errors, but not, not too bad. I understand what they're saying. You can find these tips in the guide and options. All right, so so not available in beta version. Anything except for quick play. Or what else? Um, Lobby in detail. I can't read any of this. From now on, you'll meet other Outlanders in the lobby before every encounter. Boosters will improve the experience of everybody in the encounter. Use one. More loot. Better crate. Insurance. Uh, more loot, obviously, is going to have more loot in the encounter. Better crate. We'll have a better crate. Insurance to protect your loadout from death. Only the airdrop. I didn't get to read it. Fisk Fabric. I'm starting to notice more games like this now. I don't know how common they have been. I just haven't noticed. Or if they're just becoming more popular now with like Fortnite, Dauntless, like uh, all these kinds of games. There's more. Just <laughs> it's escaping me. Network connection is unstable. The game experience may be affected. Great. I feel like my network connection is pretty good. On my computer, it looks very strong. So that's not good. Hopefully everything's fine for the video, so that way it works. You guys can check it out, and we can actually see what's going on with it. Rich is pointing out. <laughs> Everyone's playing Animal Crossing. All right. I also don't know... What up, people? Purchase improved loot. More loot, better crate. Only for you. Do you want to purchase? Yeah, sure, let's do that. And let's do this too. Why not? I got you, homies. I should probably do this too. Nah, it's all good. I'll do that too. I got you, everybody. That's right. I contributed the most. There might only be Johnny. I don't know who's. I don't know who's doing this. All right, get ready. So I don't really know what we're doing, but we'll figure it out on the way. Set yourself a simple goal. Focus on it and leave safely. Wandering aimlessly may get you killed. Now, I don't know if we're competing with each other to find this stuff, or if everyone's working together. That's something I don't know, honestly. <laughs> Alright, so let's go in... Your position is temporarily revealed to, to Outlander, who used signal detector. Yeah, I think that we're not on a team at all. I think we're all against each other. But you can, like, make things better for everyone, <clears throat> basically. I just got loot that I didn't check. So... It kind of seems like it's like Friday the 13th, the game plus Fortnite ish, sort of. Like, I'm, I say Fortnite, I mean it loosely. Like, it seems like we're all fighting each other. Oh, airdrop landing zone has been changed. Has been changed. <clears throat> so, let's take a look at the map. Airdrop. Signals detector undiscovered, undiscovered, undiscovered. Airdrop area. Safe is being unlocked. Exit area. Oh, 
What is this? Com station. Um, barrel house. Oh, bard house. I feel like I want to go here. So, I guess I'll, I guess I'll just stroll. Oh, someone has a machine gun. I do not. Oh. Okay. Hey. What? I'm really confused. Because I said, hey. The loadout. Oh, okay, so I have all I have is this. All right. Can I drive a vehicle? Oh no, I'm taking fuel. Okay. <laughs> hey. Hey. Yeah, I, I have to say one thing is that I definitely only hear audio from, only hear walking audio from my right headphone, which is weird. A lot of stuff is only coming from the right, which honestly, that could actually be my headphone cord. I don't think so because um, I hear other stuff from the left side, so I don't know what why that's happening, but I'm just making note of that. Alright, so I got the stuff from here. Let's go to... Let's run. Now, I feel like there's going to be more people. Oh, I have low battery in my controller. That's not good. <laughs> I'm being attacked. Okay, so apparently... This is not co-op. <laughs> there might be a mode that is, but this is not. Assuming that someone has like a weapon that, like maybe like a sniper rifle or something, I can't see anyone. They seemingly know where I am. Maybe it's because I use a signal detector. But I don't see anyone. <clears throat> Yeah, I could hear um, the, the gun firing from, like, the left side and, like, kind of the right, but... So that's working. It's just... Uh, the character walking is definitely only in the right headphone, the right audio. Uh, audio is only coming from the right side, rather. I don't know where that's coming from. Well, definitely, it's coming from ahead of me. But it doesn't sound like they're shooting at me.
Alright, so. Let's head up over this little mountainy area. Where's the... Oh, I'm over in the airdrop area, but the signal detector is over here. Oh. Were they shooting at me and they missed? Or was that me messing up? Maybe you can, like, not shoot each other if you choose not to. Maybe it's like that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The plane is incoming. Beware of the drop zone. It will be dangerous. I'm just trying to get to the signal tower thing. Because I just want to check it out. Oh, here we go. Okay, I can see where they are. There's three people in there? Alright, cool. Oh god. I feel like I'm very visible. Alright, where's the airdrop? Oh, there it is. Alright, um... I guess I'll just kind of sprint that way, and hopefully no one just shoots me. I need to... definitely take some cover. Alright, stop being out in the open is one thing. How far away am I? Oh, did someone grab it? Oh, that's someone. I don't know if I hit them or not. I only have one... I only have one, uh... round left. Probably shouldn't have shot at them. Uh-oh. Oh no! I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Uh oh. I'm. Just, they can see me. I need to get out. Oh, I ran out of. Uh oh. Go go go! I need to get to an exit. Him, so I can't. Alright, I need to get to this. No. This. Okay. So. 
Uh oh. Uh, an alarm went off, so I don't know what that means. Radiation is coming. Better run to the nearest exit. Oh. My heart's actually beating. <laughs> Because I'm like, alright, people know where I am. Oh, I'm in the exit area. Cool, so I got a bunch of loot. Don't I think. To leave the area through the exit if it's too dangerous. That's what I'm supposed to do, right? Cool. Alright, I leveled up to level 2. Or level 1. Now I'm level 2. And maybe level 3? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Level 3 reached. Okay. Claim your reward in the shelter. Upgrade to premium battle pass to get unique rewards and XP boosters. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. So, chemicals looted, nails looted, grass lo glass looted, fuel looted, metal parts looted... Uh, wire looted. I can't really see that on this screen. I don't. I'm assuming if I was looking at this on a big screen, like a TV, it'd be fine. It's just it's hard on a small on a smaller screen. Encounter duration: 12 minutes. Distance travel: 18, 30 meters. Accuracy: kills zero. <laughs> My accuracy was terrible too. <laughs> That's because I had just like a handgun, and I don't know. I I, just, I didn't know what I was doing. Kind of. I, I did it. I don't know how many people on here in that game were actually real people and how many were NPCs. I feel like there was at least one person who was real. So now we're back to the main area. Oh, so you hold down R and then you, like, move uh, your right analog stick to select different weapons. Oh. So zero out of infinite. But I can't fire. Oh yeah, those both the same weapon? 80... Oh, they are. I can't seem to fire here. I thought you'd be able to just fire in, in here. But apparently not, just for like target practice kind of stuff. I don't know. Apparently not. So. In the store you can buy various types of in-game items or currency. Uh, featured store offers various types of items you can get for crowns. The offer changes over time. Acquired items need to be equipped in relevant places like the customized screen. You can find these tips in guide, in guide, in plus options. Whatever. Okay. So you can get, like, <laughs> I like that. Frustration or something, or scary something. Uh, what's that? Oh, it's just like a skin, alright. And you can get a canvas bag, you can get a hat, you can get a track jacket, hockey helmet, signed. Alright, um, challenge completed. You complete the following challenges. The real trick, safely leave and encounter. Equip screen allows you to craft and equip weapons, ammo, and consumables for encounter. You can also deconstruct items into materials. All weapons are stored in stashed. Weapons which you can craft are marked with yellow wrench icon. You can carry up to two primary and two secondary weapons. Ammo and consumables are stored in your backpack. Uh, crafting takes time depending on rarity. Only one weapon and one consumable can be crafted simultaneously. Crafting ammo is instant. Um. Okay. The info tab shows item descriptions, weapon parameters, and crafting requirements. Uh, weapons can be crafted from relevant parts or with materials, the correct plan, and an upgraded crafting table. Okay. Say press oh. All right, so we will craft this, and we will uh, 
that was strange. It said which weapon do you want to swap, and it kind of like had an overlying screen, but uh, it was like moving in the background. So uh, I want to go back and find that, and then yeah, we'll put it there so it's the top one. And then where is that? Am what was it? AK-47, SVD, oh, there we go, you have a sniper rifle. Oh, <clears throat> here we go. Throw that in there. Now do I have that? Oh, here we go, now it's working right. Hmm, that's weird. Uh, that seems to be not working properly. It's having some issues. Again, this is in beta, so like I expect there to be some issues. But it seems like we already have this. I want to swap it. Oh, no, it, it swapped. It just kind of was... Uh... Wait. Yeah, okay. No, it worked. All right, word. There we go. So we got ammo for them. Uncommon healing consumable, Parabellum, Makarov ammo. So we got military grade ammo. Okay. Let's see. What's this? Oh, that this is that. You can just go up to the bench and do it, or you can do L and R through the through it from wherever. Build screen allows you to build improvements, repair, and customize your shelter. Uh, shelter improvements will help you to craft new items, generate materials, and in general make your life easier. Each improvement requires specific resources for building, and it takes some time to build it. Okay. Each building, each build improvement makes moves your shelter towards the next level. Uh, higher level allow higher level allow you to build and upgrade additional improvements. It also makes your shelter nicer. It's a little bit of language stuff that needs to be touched up too. Uh, information tab shows the details the details of selected improvement required resources building time and function of every level you can find these in the information tab okay so unlock crafting of additional items using plans I hope that my battery lasts for like 20 more minutes so we'll use metal parts to craft that so now that's upgraded. Oh, it's going to be finished in 30 seconds. Crates are gained for special feats like snatching the airdrop. These are multiple. There are multiple types of crates, each of differing rarities that will affect your reward. Each open crate will give you three random items from the pool. A new batch of rewards will appear after you successfully acquire all current rewards. Okay. So my first airdrop... Hold to open. We got crowns, we got Thompson plan, and we got materials. Um, uncommon crate. We got some rounds, GFK plan, and some glass. And that's what we got right now. Battle pass. Upgrade premium battle pass to unlock rewards and XP boosters. So, oop. So I got this. Do you want to purchase XP to level up? Do I want to purchase XP to level up? Nah. I'll just level up by leveling up. Uh, okay. So I'll get a crossbow. Oh, that's okay. Cool. 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 So I can get like this and some other stuff. You can get a knife, you can get, you know, a tire if you upgraded the battle pass, and you get a walkie-talkie uh, signal detector. Oh, you can use that a signal detector you can probably have on your person or something as a consumable. Crossbow, things like that. All right, cosmetics. Character cosmetics only change the visual look of an Outlander. There is no gameplay benefit. While all archetypes are unlocked, other cosmetics need to be unlocked. Crates, in-game store, and other sources. So. 
think that's all I have. Yeah, I don't have any of this because I had to grab it, so I didn't, but like, you, this is where you change that. Also, hey. gestures can be used for communication with other outliners. Only basic hey. gestures are available at the start. You need to unlock additional ones. Hey. So, wave, thumbs up, point, point right, point down, point this and that. Oh, and there was also weapon skins. Um, you don't need to explain weapon skins. They make your weapon look different. And then we get the store. Uh, crown store is not available in the beta version, but don't worry. You'll be, re you'll be rewarded with extra crowns as you play to help you save enough funds to buy your customizations, boosters, battle pass, and to level up in season. Cool. Challenge completed. New beginning. You completed the following challenges. Build the crafting table. Alright, so we did that. Shelter level 2 is reached. Aha. Uh -huh. Cool. So, upgraded a little bit. Use some nails to improve the wood log. So that'll be done in 10 minutes, so. Got an uncommon crate. Let's open it up, see what we got. Baseball cap, solid black. Uh, Schorfengauer, I don't know, that's a sniper rifle. And, and a, a common crate. It's probably gonna go, does it have three in that too? It does, okay. That keeps reminding me of the Gift Giver album cover. AKM, carbine, carbine, and glass, uh, ammunition. Battle pass, check your current level of battle pass, never regain needed experience points and remaining time of the season. Uh, Unlikely join the free tier, premium tier, must be bought for crowns. Okay. Now I can like, you know, now I can add a hat. Oh, you have stuff. You have to click on it to do it. A bandana, fedora, flat cap. Let's give him a bandana. Gloves. Let's give him these. I don't, I don't have them. Hand tape. Backpack. Canvas bag. I don't have any of these, but these are the ones you can have. Okay, cool, cool. Um, art. Oh, this is your character. Actual, like, what they look like. Um. I can give him a leather jacket. I can give him an anor. Let's give him a leather jacket. Track jacket. Vest. What else we have? Oh, Hunter. Uh, you know what? Let's give him the cap. There we go. Looks like a looks like a dude. No, let's give him let's give him the flat cap. Nah. Fedora. Honestly, this looks like a guy that if you saw him out in the wilderness, you'd be like, whoa, let's stay away from him or something. I don't know. Alright. 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 Let's go to the map. Hopefully my controller doesn't die. Oh! Switch to team? I saw that. Can I cancel? Yeah. Switch to team. Player with random outlanders. Okay. Okay. So you can do solo. So it's free for all, theoretically, in team. Uh, let's go. Let's go outside here. While while this loads and looks for an encounter. I I like the idea of being able to do both for sure. Because sometimes you don't want to have the stress of having to face everyone. You just want to work together on a team. You probably have to face some people. I don't know how it's gonna work. Um, can we go like? How far can we explore while this is... Oh, the map cuts off right there. Okay. Under my umbrella. Ella. Ella. A. A. You can reset the firing range targets by interacting with the box nearby. Shooting at the firing range does not consume your ammo. Fire at will. Okay.
Yeah, but I don't have any ammo to fire with. Oh, here we go. So it's looking for an encounter. While it's looking for an encounter, I guess I will... So you hold down R to look through the site, and then you hold hold your breath, pressing L. <laughs> so we're still looking for an encounter. I might have to just do single play, like solo. Ping. Um, I want to do team, honestly, just to sh uh, check it out, but it seems like it's not... Oh. Let's just... Let's just... Oh. <laughs> Unlock shooting challenges for the weapons. Okay. Let's... Let's do it for the carbine. Oh, wait. What? Interesting. I don't know what the challenges are. Oh, well. It doesn't matter because it's starting. Oh, okay, cool. I was going to actually start put it, uh, set it to a single solo one and now it's actually going to team so that's that's cool uh, i'm looking forward to checking out team battle team whatever you want to call it all right more loot let's hook them up with the more loot Hook them up with the better crate and uh, protect your loadout from from death. Let's do that. Come on, everybody else, chip in. Is that who else is real? Is everybody real? Yo, dog. Kelvin. These might be developers. I don't. I don't know. These might be. These are probably other beta beta testers, beta players. But I, I don't know. Counter start. So we're all, I'm thinking, on a team. I selected team, so I'm, just, I'm guessing we're all on a team. So I want to get to. Explore the area. Look yeah. for loot. Use the map when you feel lost. So the, <laughs> the other characters running looks kind of. Oh, no, there we go. Looks better now. Well, let's grab the fuel. This is more fuel. Let's grab the fuel. What is this? Something. All right. It's not like a minefield or anything. I'm really looking forward to checking this out in handheld to see what it looks like. I hope that it looks relatively similar in handheld. And plays similarly. Because I like... So far, I'm enjoying this. This is pretty cool. Um, I thought it was more of like a... A game with more of like a campaign and stuff like that. I didn't realize it was like this kind of a game where you go to a hub... And then you go play with or with or against people. Don't hesitate to leave the area through the exit if it's too dangerous. Why am I near an exit right now? I don't think so. Is this my teammate? Yeah. Oh, teammate. Okay, cool. Oh, so there's other people that we're against. We're just... 
What is this? A signal? Is this a signal detector? Hey, I got you. Oh, okay. Wait, is that an enemy? What up, Wes? Hey! Hey! <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, so where do we want to go? So you want to stick with the team. Voice chat would be useful. I feel like with his hat, my character looks like that dude from uh, Tiger King. The one, the one who talks kind of like this. <laughs> I can't do his voice. But the guy who had like the, the news show, Inside Edition or something. I forget his name. But I feel like this is his hat. That's who I'm feeling the like I am right now. Is hard to enter, but contains valuable loot. Oh, let's get in there, homie. Yeah. It doesn't seem hard to enter. We just got in. Oh, wait. Head up the stairs and see what's up here. I like having a friend, like a teammate. But it, but also, being able to do that, it's cool now to be able to just do it by yourself and be on your own. I... I kind of thought this was going to be more of like a DayZ... Safe is being unlocked. Like a DayZ kind of game. Oops, sorry, Wes, friend. Where it's like, there isn't like an actual like start and stop, it just continues and you just, you know, that's what I thought it was going to be more along the lines of. But this is like kind of if Daisy didn't have zombies in it, obviously. Um, had like a, it's like if Daisy and Dauntless were kind of combined. And Fortnite. Hall door, motel, discovered. What's this? Some consumables. Where's my buddy at? We're in the airdrop area. There's also a comm station. Oh man, it keeps telling me about my low battery. I really hope that it lasts another few more minutes. Air zone, airdrop landing zone has changed. Where? Okay, cool. Let's head over here anyways. I want to head over to that comm station. Let's go, Wes. Wes. Alright, I'm gonna head over that way, bud. Am I facing the right way? Am I going the wrong way? Is it this way? It's this way. Oh, look at that bridge. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's the bridge that they showed in, like, the screen. The art image. Whatever. Screen. When, uh, when it was loading up. I forget what the bridge is called. Uh oh. Uh oh. Help me. Alright. Do I have this loaded? Uh, I want to have this out for sure. Nah. think is that oh did i get him i definitely hit someone i don't think i got a kill it didn't notify me but i definitely hit it seemed like i headshot someone they should have died yeah what's up wes oh, what am i doing behind the sign Did I kill him? I must have. Oh, I did. Yo, that's what's up. Nice. I did it. <laughs> what's up, bro? All right, now we got to be kind of careful because we don't know who's gonna be over there. 
So you can look through the scope of every- Use the comm station to change the drop zone. Oh, that's how you change the drop zone. I don't want to though. We're in the- we're in the drop zone. Oh, Lauren's playing Animal Crossing. Alright, so me and Wes are in the... Oh, we're not? Yeah, no, we are. We're in the drop zone. Protecting the calm suspension bridge discovered. That's right. I'm gonna try to climb up here. Go prone. Let's defend it a little bit. Let's keep an eye out for some people. Now, I don't know if this will be considered like camping and being cheap. I don't know. This is the first time I'm playing, really. So I'm just checking it out. Getting the vantage point, seeing what's up. Although I can't seem to look down from the here. The plane with the airdrop is about to reach your area. Avoid the drop zone if you are not ready to fight with other Outlanders. Oh no, I'm I'm ready to fight with other Outlanders. Me and Wes, me and my boy Wes over here, are ready to fight with other Outlanders. <laughs> there it is. Dude, drop right on us. That'd be perfect. Where? Alright, let's head towards it. Hey, West, we gotta go towards this way. This is where the... The airdrop seems to be is over this way. Oh, it's over there? Oh, it's down there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So hopefully no one's right here. Oh, is he climbing down? Is there like a ladder to climb that I didn't see? Nice. Yeah, definitely just audio coming from my right ear for walking. Oh, is that the crate? No, it's ooh. Temporarily restores all health. I need like more. When looting the airdrop, always be cautious. Other Outlanders may be watching. Where's my boy Wes? Oh, there we, there we go. Yeah. How far away is this? Oh, it's like way over there. Or did someone grab it? Did someone already grab it? That's why it shows that. Maybe someone already has it. But it's talking to me like it hasn't been looted yet. Oh, th someone does have it. That's definitely what happened. So they gone now? <laughs> uh, I'm a little confused. Now we leave. So somebody, oh god. So somebody else grabbed the loot. 
and ran with it and escaped. I think it's kind of weird it doesn't notify you exactly, but that's fine. But we didn't get the crate. We did... I did level up. I don't know how West did. I'm assuming West did too. Reach level 5, claim your rewards in the shelter. So, if you don't get it, then you just leave. And you get whatever you collected, but you just don't get like a loot box, basically. And whatever was in there that you would have gotten. Um, so that's interesting. Wood log. Oh, that gener- Oh, you can collect materials from the wood log and other generators every now and then come back regularly. So then you can, like, get stuff that's that you need for crafting. Okay. So... <clears throat> Oh, I didn't even check to see what it say how many kills I got, because I definitely killed that person, which was I got a headshot for sure. So I got a crossbow. If I spend crowns, then I'll get a premium battle pass. Right? Because I, I have enough crowns to do that, so I'm assuming that I probably should. Now I don't have a lot of crowns left, but like now I get all this stuff. So that's cool. So I'll, I'll do that for the beta. Why not, right? Increase XP for a session. Okay. Cool, cool. So. I don't know how many tiers they have. There's probably a whole bunch. Oh, it seems like there's up to 50. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, so, yeah. There's definitely a whole bunch more stuff you can do. Just not right now. Um, there's achievements. Craft the Thompson. So I would do, if I do that, I complete a challenge. See if we leave five encounters. So I've done two so far. Uh, play five encounters. I've done two so far. Your backpack's quite full. Be careful out there. Okay. Um, so yeah. Um, this is Vigor. Uh, the beta version of it so far. There will definitely be more improvements made to it. Uh, in additional, I'm assuming additional things were going to be tweaked and whatnot. So this is not the final version of the game. This is literally the beta version of the game. Um, so, if you didn't sign up for the closed beta, you can't play it. Uh, because this, they gave me a code to do so. But I'm definitely going to be playing this when I'm not playing Animal Crossing. Uh, which... It's going to be hard, because I've been playing Animal Crossing like you saw for 200 hours almost so far since it came out. But, um, yeah. So, like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more gameplay videos and news and other information about Nintendo Switch, mostly. And uh, share if you think anybody will be interested in this Vigor game. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, thank you for watching, guys. Stay tuned, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.